Hello, my name is Olivia Romer. I'm a SAGE certified consultant at TAG, a premier SAGE partner for construction software with a team of experts in construction accounting and software solutions. In this five-part video series, we will help you prepare for your year-end activities in SAGE 300 Construction and Real Estate. In this first video, we will discuss how to prepare prior to printing your 1099s. Let's begin. Prior to printing your 1099s, it's best to confirm that the information printing is accurate. The best way to do this is by printing two reports. The first report I suggest printing is the paid invoice register. You can print this report by opening the Accounts Payable module, navigating to Reports, Cash Management, and select the Paid Invoice Register Report. Make sure to select both the AP Invoice New and AP Master File, then click OK. Then enter the date range for the current calendar, for example, January 1 to December 31st, 2017. Then select the Print Preview button. This report will display the total payments made to your vendors in the calendar year. You will see each payment and a total by vendor. The next report you'll want to print is the 1099 Preparation Report. You can find this report by opening the Accounts Payable module, navigating to Reports, Miscellaneous, and select the 1099 Preparation Report. If you have multiple fiscal entities in your data folder, you can choose to print this report by fiscal entity or by vendor. I recommend printing the report by vendor and fiscal entity if you have the option. Then select the condition button. Add a condition. Select the field 1099 amount paid this year. Then select greater than or equal to and enter $600 in the value box. This will ensure that only vendors that have the minimum required reporting amount display on the report. Next, you will want to compare the two reports. Confirm that all the vendors listed have a tax ID. Are there vendors on the paid invoice register report that should receive a 1099 that are not displaying in the 1099 preparation report? If so, it's because the vendor has not been marked to receive a 1099 in their vendor setup. To fix this, you must do the following. Open the Accounts Payable module, select Setup, and then Vendors. When the Vendor Setup box appears, enter the vendor ID and hit Enter twice. Then navigate to the 1099 Settings tab. Place a check mark inside the Vendor Receives a Form 1099 checkbox. If the vendor is an attorney, make sure to mark the gross proceeds paid to an attorney checkbox. Then fill out the recipient's tax ID number and legal name if they're using a social security number. Then select which 1099 form they belong to on the vendor. Most vendors will require the 1099 miscellaneous form type. Then hit save. You have now completed your 1099 preparation work. In the next video, we will show you how to print your 1099s using Atrix. If you'd like to learn more about the Sage Construction and Real Estate software products, or would like to schedule a personalized demo, email us at sales at teamtag.net, or check our website for the latest promotions and information at www.teamtag.net. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.